Hello, this is Shinket. I'm the course instructor for food and nutrition over here. Previously, I was from Swiss Cottage Secondary School where I take this subject and subsequently moving on to Singapore Polytechnic where I took up Diploma in Applied Chemistry. In this course, I will cover the different chapters that you need to know in order to take this subject for O levels and also giving you relevant tips that you may need when studying this subject. The purpose of studying FNN is to achieve healthy eating by knowing the food commodities that we eat every day. Over here, we will know what is present inside the food we eat and know the different techniques in preparing the food that we eat. And ultimately, with the idea of food biochemistry and food science and technology, we will be able to achieve healthy eating after we do food planning. Food planning is an area where we plan what we eat every day in order to get the various nutrients that we need for our biological functions, which allow us to achieve healthy eating eventually. The course structure is developed such that it resembles a game plan in accordance to the latest MOE syllabus and consists of 5 stages, 20 levels that prepares you for FNN Theory Paper 1. This will provide you a gameplay of approximately 5 hours. As for the second part of the, of the subject, which is the coursework, the supports are also provided in terms of word documents. So this word document is something similar to dummies for FNN coursework. And inside the document, it provides example and guidelines on what you should do and what you should not do when writing your coursework. And the first two stages, we will look into food biochemistry. And over there, it will ties in with the idea of organic chemistry and biomolecules. If you have yet to learn them, you may visit module 7 and module 8 of my course on science, biology and chemistry to understand them. The game plan resembles something like this. As you move on, this game plan will be filled up accordingly. Before we start with the actual course, let's share some study habits and tips for food and nutrition with you. You must know that food and nutrition is a content-heavy subject and reading and understanding facts and concepts is a must. And note that memory work may not help as much in this course. And you must possess ability to apply facts into various case studies. Case studies refers to scenarios, for example, a person is suffering from hypertension. And you must be able to relate the food preparation techniques which we'll be covering in the later parts to this uh, scenario and what this person should eat and what this person should not eat. Aside, you will need to apply other strategies which includes the following. You can remember facts by using mnemonics such as ADEC, vitamin A, D, E, K for fat soluble vitamins and vitamins B and C for water soluble vitamins. Along the way, there are many other mnemonics that I will share with you as you move on. So try to jot them down when going through the course. And you must know that the topics in FNN is not isolated. They are related to each other and questions can be crafted in a way that requires you to use ideas from many different chapters. So you must be able to link them up just like how you study science. Another study habits that you should do when doing food and nutrition is to develop your own summary. For example, I've crafted the course such that it will have a similar backbone for module 1 which includes the structure, the types, the functions, the sources, the reactions and the implications of consuming the various nutrients. So try to prepare a table something like this for topic 1 and topic 2. This will assist you to understand everything better and have an overview of the entire food biochemistry. Of course, as you go on to other, other modules, there are different ways of summarizing as well. Also, try establishing a one-hour routine when you are studying. Meaning, for the first 10 minutes, you recap what you have studied or you have practiced in the last round of revision. And the next 40 minutes, you try out something with a new information. For example, a new topic in science or you practice an essay question that you have never tried before. And then, the last 10 minutes of the 1 hour routine, you recuperate, where you relax and chill out. So, this round 
one round of studying cycle is one hour so the first 10 minutes you recap the next 40 minutes you revise and the last 10 minutes you recuperate using the one hour routine cycle you're highly encouraged to study and revise the entire FNN courses thrice before your examination the purpose of studying the first time is to allow you to understand and absorb what you have read and subsequently testing yourself what you have absorbed from the first session so through this you'll be able to know what are the ideas that you have not remembered or not understood so based on this you can focus on such topics that you do not understand or you forgot in the second session and test yourself again the last session will reiterate what you have remembered in the first two sessions so the third session is like a compilation of what you have understood and absorbed from the studying of FNN for two rounds. This is the end of the course introduction. You can refer to the first video of module one now.